Officials say everyone in the home got out safely. Now, the News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful weekend. There are some things we got to think about, though. First of all, you still see some of these low gray clouds at times as you look live on our Lancaster Skycam. It's looking less likely, but I'm going to still mention next, say, hour and a half to two hours, there could still be a sprinkle, maybe a stray shower. Don't cancel any plans. No big deal, but they could be around. 72 in Lancaster right now. Dew point more spring like. I often say when those dew points get up near 60 degrees, they start getting a little stickier. You feel a little humidity in the air, and that's good news. We could use that. There's a fire weather watch up for tomorrow. Brush fires, uh, it's a danger for those because tomorrow's going to be much lower humidity, maybe like 20 to 30 percent humidity. West wind right now at about 12 miles an hour. So as we head through the evening hours again, we'll mention that stray shower. But I'd favor them south of Route 30 along the Mason Dixon line if they pop up at all. They're just hit and miss. Temperatures fall from the 60s down into the 50s by the time we get dark. And then overnight tonight, Upper 40s, low 50s, pretty comfortable with mostly clear skies. Starts sunny tomorrow, pretty much stays that way. A few clouds may mm, come through during the late day hours as a weak front arrives. But this front is going to be just so dry, and that's thus the, the reason the brush fires are uh, a hazard for tomorrow. It's mid to upper 70s, could be, it will be the warmest day, I think, of the, of the season so far. Not out of the question, we hit that 80 degree mark. It cools down a bit for Sunday. You see this line of clouds coming through here now, but you can see how they're shrinking. It's a weak disturbance, no big deal. Most of the shower activity with it is heading to the south of the Mason Dixon line down into Virginia. But it's possible, it's possible we pop a stray shower. I showed you those in southern Lancaster County. Now they're moving down toward Elkton, Maryland, but nothing really happening over us right now. But those temperatures are nice. It's nice to go out and for a walk. Maybe we got a softball game this evening. It looks good. And maybe starting a little yard work. It is all right to do that. Now, tomorrow, uh, the pollen count will be on the high side. Most spores, no problem there. Air quality is good. The UV index, though, if you're out and about tomorrow, we'll keep the sunblock on. It's going to be pretty high. It's going to be an eight for tomorrow. So, heading outside tomorrow looks great. 70s, mid to upper 70s. 60s on Sunday, but it's still a nice day. It does cloud up a little bit later in the day, and some rain arrives, I think, Sunday night. Looks like some much needed and possibly a soaking rain on Monday. We can use it. We need a little bit of rain. I've been saying that. And it looks like a seasonal day, cools down a bit, maybe a little unsettled as we go through next week. You're not doing anything tomorrow. The student chapter of the American Meteorological Society over at Millersville University, the students are putting on their public weather awareness day. Weather vendors, weather experts from all over the country are going to be there. You can learn a little more about weather. And the best thing about it, my favorite kind of public weather awareness day, free. You can see MU Weather Day. Dot com. You can go for more information there. Kids art comes from Cohen Miller. He's seven years old from Marietta and a nice rainbow. Maybe we get a rainbow next week, but not for this weekend.